Hey everyone, I'm Zockley and welcome to another Space Engineers update video. Today's update contains numerous multiplayer improvements and LOD optimizations. Firstly, there should no longer be any instances of missing planets, missing asteroids or missing grids when connected to multiplayer servers. We also added a loading wheel to indicate when anything from the server is being streamed to the client. This will definitely help players by letting them know that the surrounding environment is still loading when selecting a medbay in the respawn screen. Additionally, there were some other minor desync fixes made this week. For example, you should not see any HUD warnings meant for other players connected to the server from now on. There were LOD optimizations made to block models, which should result in various performance gains with many worlds and builds, although the changes will be most noticeable on lower end systems. Newly placed blocks will now inherit the velocity of the character when moving faster than 50 meters a second. Below this speed, any block place will have zero velocity. It's a subtle change, but should be useful when trying to build on a fast moving ship. Before this, a newly placed block would have just been left behind, potentially colliding with the existing grid that you're standing on. Moving on, we resolve some issues related to corner lights and stations that are pasted into voxel being unable to move their mechanical parts. Lastly, we have created a much more detailed guide for the cutscene editor, which you can find on the forums. This is part of our ongoing efforts to produce more guides for the modding and scripting of Space Engineers. But that's all from me today. If you're interested in the full list of bug fixes, tweaks and improvements in this update, please see the changelog on our forums. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week, and as always, Never stare at a lens flare without proper eyewear.